Glad to see you're still alive. Yeah. Thanks for calling the ambulance. Well, it's the least I could do. And, uh, to celebrate, why don't we get this contract signed? You are joking. Well, come on, I just uh, saved your life. Yeah, and I'll buy you a beer. But like I said before, I'm not doing business with you. You're dodgy. Says the man who just overdosed on cocaine. You lied to me. And I have a rule never to do business with someone who's dishonest. Drugs are fine. Within reason. We weren't dishonest. We were just selective with the information we provided. Same thing in my book. You lie once, you lie twice. I can't trust you. Now, if you don't mind, my wife will be here in a minute. I think you're making a mistake. Forget it, mate. It's over. Here's the door. Go on. Run along. Bye-bye, little Stevie boy. I'm not going anywhere. You said your, your wife will be here soon. I, I think she'll be very interested in the contents of your briefcase. She knows I dabble. Everyone does it a bit, don't they? No. It's just some recreational fun. My wife's open-minded. She's from Pearlie. Well, do you think she'll be as open-minded about uh, Candies? Who? Well, surely you remember Candice, the, the charming escort you hired. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let me refresh your memory. Now, where did I... Where did I put your phone? Ah. Is it ringing any bells? She's a scary woman, but uh, she's got great taste in underwear. Nothing to do with me. I've never met that woman before. Oh, well, let me... Refresh your memory. She, uh, she recorded a little message for you. Oh, Rufus, you dirty dog. That was so good. I can't wait for our next time. I hope I was worth the money. Oh, and, and you owe me a hundred pounds. Uh, call it a recording fee? So, 